I hope you're good. So this week in the studio, I've got a Korg SB100, also known as the Synthi Bass. Uh, and these were manufactured between 1975 and 1977. Would you believe, look at the condition of this unit. Someone's obviously taken incredible care of this over the years. Uh, but what it looks like and what it sounds like are not necessarily the same thing. So let's get into the sounds. So it's monophonic. We've got one oscillator. We've got various wave shapes available to us on that one oscillator. So let's listen to the triangle. Square. Sawtooth. Wow. 70s synths just have the throatiest, uh, most aggressive sounding sawtooths I've ever heard. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and let's jump up. And then pulse. And then finally phaser. Which isn't a phaser at all, sounds like a pulse width modulation. And that's it for the oscillator. Okay, so moving over here, we've got this bender section and we can bend sharp or up. Or down. Which is kind of handy for... If you so desire. Uh, then you've got a volume control, which is self-explanatory. Then we've got a traveller, which is a Korg parlance for filter cutoff. Which has a really nice throw on it. And that works in conjunction with the bright switch here. Which you can tell is resonance. <laughs> Sounds incredible. <laughs> uh, and then we've got this uh, envelope here. So we've got attack to slow. So this is the attack phase. So it uh, softens off the attack, but it's not crazy. It's just a little bit. And that works with uh, the percussion to singing, which is the decay phase. Uh, and then that works in conjunction with the sustain over here. gives you a little bit more control uh, and then we've also got this expand switch which um, you can hear is uh, envelope mod of the filter um, and that's basically it other than you've got a uh, pitch slider here which gives you a semitone of tuning but you can use that for vibrato Uh, as a little hack. Uh, that's basically it, that's the synthy bass, so let's make some music with it. Oh, my God. 
there we go, a quick spin through the relatively obscure Korg synthy bass from 1975, uh, probably most famous for being used by Dave Ball of Soft Cell uh, and Royksop. Um, I hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.